Hi guys and welcome to the fourth tutorial now in the how to Android range. Um, today I'm going to be just leading on from the last video I've done on the contacts and just showing you a bit more of the advanced features of the contact directory. Um, so I'm just going to go straight into it, it's only going to be a short one today guys. Uh, so we've got contacts here um, and as you would remember from the previous video, um, it was all going to be around, centred around the main menu section at the bottom there. Um, so what we're going to look at is we're going to look at a few different things. So first of all, we're going to start off with the settings. Um, so the view settings. So if you go into the more section, which is that one there, um, you have options here. So you have account, speed dial, send email, send message, display options and settings. So essentially, accounts is um, basically where you're where you're getting contact information from. So I'm at the moment currently getting contact information from my Google Mail account and my Facebook account. Um, in my next tutorial, I plan to explain a little bit more about Google Mail and how to set up a Google Mail account. The reason why you should set up a Google Mail account is because it automatically backs up your contacts with your Google Mail account. So if you're ever to lose the phone or you've lost your SIM card or something like that, you log back into your Google Mail account and all your contacts will come straight back down to you. Um, so it's quite a handy feature. So in the next tutorial, um, I will be doing one on Google Mail and how to use it and how to sign up for them. Um, I've also got Facebook SimCon. So basically, I've logged into my Facebook account and it's download all the pictures and all the contacts that I've got um, from my Facebook onto my onto my phone. Um, so again I'm gonna I think I'm probably gonna do a separate tutorial on the Facebook app and how to use that and the various features of downloading your contacts directly to the to the phone through Facebook. Um, when you download the app it, it asks you if you want to sync that sort of data when you first log in. Um, so we'll go through that in a little bit more detail. Um, so that's that explains basically what the, the accounts option is. Um, your other one is speed dial, so that's essentially um, controlling contacts that can be put on speed dial. So you can see here, um, voicemail is my first one. If I wanted to have a second one, I'd add that one, and then it's just a case of finding the name that I want and adding it. And then you can see the contacts now gone into the number two section. So all I'd need to do on my phone is if I wanted to call that contact is hold two, and it will automatically dial. Nice and straightforward. Um, so the one below it is send email and send message. Now that's simply just an option to multi-send an email or a message. So you just select whichever one you want to do, select the contact, hit submit, write your message, job done. The one below that is display options. Now this one's slightly different. This allows you to see what contacts you want to see. So you've got options to see Facebook, phone, SIM and your Gmail account. Um, so you can select which one you want to see. So if you just want to see the SIM card contacts, you select SIM card. If you just want to see the phone contacts, you just select the phone. So this is what the, the main menu looks like. Um, so you can see here it's got the option to change the, what, the first name first, second name first, whatever you want. And at the bottom it's got phone, SIM, Google and Facebook. So by selecting each one, you can select if you want to see those contacts. If you don't, you can uncheck them. You want to see just your SIM card, if you don't want to see your SIM contact, uncheck that one, and so on, so on. Once you've decided what you want to do, hit the done button, and that is your contacts completely changed. Right at the moment, I've only got Gmail contacts on there. So, moving on. Uh, at the bottom, you've got settings. Now, this one is, um, is a very basic menu. It's got save new contacts too, so you can select the default of where you want your contacts to be. To, to go so every time you, you save a contact this tells you exactly where on the phone if you want on the phone the sim or the google account and um, so you don't have to select it every single time and um, it's also got to hold your own number so um i'm not actually going to show you in much detail because i don't want people phoning me but that's where your 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 line will be um your, your actual phone number will be stored um, if you don't know it and service numbers is just normally like numbers like for your your um, networks, custom services, or to top up, or something like that, um, and that's pretty much it. I think I pretty much covered the whole of the contacts section. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, 
leave them in the comment box below um, and on the next tutorial we will be looking at the Google Mail side of things. So um, I'll see you then.